Hey guys, it's Braxton with Welcome to the Outdoors and today we have over 30 vendors who are showcasing some awesome products. So let's hear from our first vendor. What's up guys, my name is Chad at All Dogs Off-Road. We are a co-op based out of Lincoln, Nebraska and we do suspensions primarily for Nissan and Toyota applications. We have coil springs and leaf springs that are manufactured in the USA and also we do uh, upper control arms for Nissan, Frontier and Xterra, and then also later this summer we'll be releasing them for the uh, Nissan Titan and the second gen Armada as well. In North America we are the exclusive distributor of Kony shocks for Nissan applications. This is the 82 series. They also have a larger shock body 90 series which they call their RAID shocks and we've been partnered with Kony for I think about two and a half, maybe three years now. And they're one of the best riding shocks uh, out there for the price point. Uh, on my uh, 22 Frontier right behind me is actually what I'm currently running. And I thought it would be a, a great choice for a Super Pacific camper uh, that I just had installed right before Overland Expo PNW. But one last thing that's unique to All Dogs Off-Road that you are not gonna find in the North American market is we're one of the only companies currently doing parabolic leaf springs for Nissan and Toyota applications. And a parabolic leaf spring is a more modern engineering of the leaf spring as a whole, which is kind of like a tapered spring that starts thicker at the center section and tapers out toward the end and it gives you uh, coil spring like ride quality but also fantastic load carry support and longevity you can find us on our website at www.alldogsoffroad.com uh, our instagram is all dogs off-road co-op uh, facebook and then also youtube my name is sasha i'm with super pacific we're out here in redmond oregon for the pnw overland expo made in portland all aluminum wedge style camper with a canopy portion built into it our construction is a little bit of a unique construction. We use solid body rivets put together like an airplane. It allows it to be lightweight, really flexible, and it also is super strong. With the box tube construction, allows us to be able to do wire chasing throughout the entire fuselage of the camper. We have single handle operation doors here. So one pull and your doors open just like that. Lockable handles from the inside. If you take a look on the inside here, we have a sliding floor panel that's part of the bed. These guys push forward so you actually have full standing space inside the camper. So you can transfer between what we call living room mode and sleeping mode. The living room mode's great for if you start getting rained on. It's a comfortable space to hang out inside, out of the elements. Also a great place to change out of wet gear, things like that. The whole thing weighs 356 pounds for Tacomas, goes up to like 397 for like our F250 fitments. Right now we have inventory campers on our website, uh, mostly Tacoma stuff. We're in Northeast Portland, all American made. Um, everything's done very localized around Portland, like within a half hour drive from millwork to powder coat to anodizing and all that. We use a material called Top Gun fabric for our tent. It's a four season rated marine tent up top. We cut that material in-house, we sew it in-house. The tent is completely built under our roof. We use the Exped Mega Mat Duo for our mattress up top, super comfortable mattress. And it's the LW Plus, so it's like 52 by 73 and a half inches. We've got extruded aluminum all the way around on the clamshell here. So for mounting things like awnings and stuff like that, makes it super easy to build it out the way that you need to. Taking a look here at the back, in the box tube, we have every nine inches, we have riv nuts. So that makes customizing it and building it out really easy to do. We make our own molly panels in house that make it easy to mount up like propane, recovery gear, uh, you know, axes, anything like that. Um, we have two options for our cab side windows. We got a fixed window, or we also have a slider with a tilt down on it. We also do a bunch of our own soft goods too, like our door bags here. These guys we cut in house and they're sewn up locally. They utilize the little eyelets on the doors here to attach. So you can kit out the doors with all of your gear for easy access with double zips. And we also do uh, have a gear loft that we cut in house as well. Um, that's awesome for being able to store gear right before you go to sleep. You know, you can throw your phones, books and stuff up top. You can even tuck jackets up into it, hang your keys and whatnot out of the way. You can catch us at superpacificusa.com. Our YouTube is Super Pacific USA as well. And then also check our website. We have inventory campers for Tacomas and uh, Gladiators on there too. My name is Alan Breer. I'm with Coney North America. And we're here at Overland Expo in Oregon. Uh, we're here showcasing some of our heavy track, our 82 series dampers. These are the newest ones for the, the Jeep JLs. These are adjustable twin tube dampers. They allow for uh, a mild lift on the vehicle. Most of our heritage in the Overland experience has been in the Australian market, somewhere where you know just durability really matters in the product. 
So we built it into the products. Um, we've been introducing it slowly into the North American market. The Jeep is a focus for us. We're going to be starting to build into some Toyota stuff. Uh, we got some Land Cruiser, Land Rover stuff. These are the product lines that most of the, the Australian market kind of knew us from. Um, and then what we see a lot here is just an overland in general, uh, sprinter vans, conversion vans, things like that. And we do have some sprinter van products over here. So we have you know, 82 series products, which most people are gonna be familiar with, adjustable twin tube, a 90 series, which is just more, more robust, adjustable product as well. We also have our special active product line for some of the sprinter models and an adjustable product line. So in the sprinter world, this is a, a damper that has a valve, a custom valve that's um, proprietary to us that actually adjusts while the ride conditions happen. So it's kind of an overall damper, but most of the products are gonna be end user adjustable. And the reason for that is we define the valving for what we think you're going to need for the environment. But as you add more weight onto these vehicles, you're going to need more damping force. So it's, it's a one-time use, one-time purchase damper that can grow with your vehicle as you build it out. And they all come with a Coney uh, lifetime guarantee to the end user. So you can see us on uh, our website is Coney, K-O-N-I-N-A.com. It's a North America website. Coney.com is our global website. And then you can catch us on Facebook and Instagram at Coney Shocks and Coney North America. I'm Judd Newman. I'm the president of Nimble Vehicles. Uh, Nimble Vehicles is located in Northern California, not far from Lake Tahoe. We are proud to show you today our Nimble Evolution. This is our latest Nimble Evolution that's in front of us. So first and foremost, the Nimble Evolution is designed to be able to go off-road for extreme periods of time. Unlike traditional truck campers, where you can go off for maybe a couple days, you can go in the Nimble Evolution for over a month, depending on your water and fuel source and food. As long as you have everything, we're ready to go with you. The water capacity in the Nimble Evolution is 75 gallons, but the cool thing about it is we have a UV filtration system that will allow you to kill bacteria in any kind of ground water that's pumped. So if you're near a river, you have unlimited water. We have over a thousand amp hours of lithium iron batteries and over a thousand watts of solar. What does that mean? It means you can be out for really extended periods of time. Heating wise, this thing is really a true four season camper. Uh, it has a high altitude Robosto heating system in it that will allow you to literally have the doors open at 14,000 feet in the winter time and stay warm. That's important. So that being said, it is a highly customizable camper. Each one is a little bit unique and different. We look to find out what's important what's really important to the buyers, to the people that are going to be utilizing this. So the Nimble Evolution will get you to the destination and the types of experiences that you really want to do. A lot of people are outdoor enthusiasts. They have mountain bikes, they have kayaks, they have paddle boards, uh, even motorcycles that they uh, bring along on both sides of the front and back uh, towing. So it has a lot of different utilizations and capacities. We build the Nimble Evolution on any one ton or greater pickup truck. Um, we've got some great partnerships. We have a great partnership now with American Expedition Vehicles, AEV, that's building on their new Dodge Prospector. Um, so we're really excited about that. I'm gonna show you a couple little features and things like that and show you a little bit about the inside with not too much depth. But the main thing is this is a vehicle that will allow you to go anywhere. It's truly have the freedom to roam. So I was mentioning about our electrical system a few minutes ago. We use uh, Battleborn batteries. Uh, they're our local partner in the Reno area. They have an incredible lithium ion battery system along with uh, all matching Victron components. Uh, this particular uh, camper has a 3000 watt inverter in it and uh, DC to DC charger, tons of solar, like I said, it really will allow you to have unlimited power. The gentleman that owns this camper just bought it. He's a world famous photographer and he's planning on taking this to the uh, Antarctica and down to Patagonia uh, in a couple months. So he needs to have the ultimate power sources to be able to get done what he needs for his photographic uh, endeavors. Tons of storage as you can see. We have storage every place, just tons of room. The Nimble Evolution is uh, similar to what uh, the design that goes into building a yacht. It's what we call a monocoque construction. It's one solid piece of 
glass together fiberglass and or carbon fiber. About 25% of the camper is carbon fiber. We do full carbon fiber builds as well. It just makes it lighter and stronger uh, for those extreme off-road applications. It is a pop-up, so as you can see, it's fully lifted up at the moment when it's down. And the reason we call it nimble vehicles is an extremely nimble vehicle. This is a much smaller platform that allows you to navigate the twisty kind of back mountain switch backs that you'll find in a, a lot of uh, the western United States. This back storage area here goes all the way out. It's over eight feet. You can put skis in here. You can put fishing rods, even some golf clubs, a few other things, whatever you can possibly imagine. Outdoor shower, beautiful awning out here. A lot of people will take this and use this as an outdoor cooking area also. Put a grill out here, propane or uh, gas, whatever you want, and they use this to cook and use this as their outside kitchen. Of course, there's a full kitchen inside, tons of water. We have a shower out here, water hookups, tons of other power and stuff like that. Well, we're inside the Nimble Evolution today, and this is a new customer's uh, demo. So we do in a lot of customization inside of each vehicle. This one, he did Ford Velocity Blue, so it's got more of a marine uh, kind of tone to it with white leather, but we do all kinds of a customization, lighting, floors, etc. One of the really cool things about the Nimble Evolution is our shower system. We have a full shower and bath. You instantaneously have a full shower available at a moment's notice and, of course, a full toilet. Underneath the bed here, there's enough storage for all your needs. We actually include custom luggage with each camper as well. Great air conditioning system. We use a Dometic 12-volt air conditioning system in here, and it is amazing. It will definitely keep you cool. Big bay windows all the way around. It almost has like a treehouse effect when you're this high up in the sky overlooking a beautiful mountain pass. Big refrigerator, microwave, all the kind of amenities you can imagine, including really state-of-the-art sophisticated electronics that allow you to measure your battery capacity, your solar, uh, your water levels, anything that would be required to uh, create a sense of home you have right here electronically right in front of you as well as you can uh, access the same information right off your smartphone so if you really do have all those extra little things that are important to you to have something be a home away from home you can bring it along with tons of room lighting incredible um, I won't turn it on right now but the lights have all kinds of different ambiance and mood lighting and everything else you can possibly imagine so it's Pretty, pretty cool. There's a lot more uh, technical features, but I thought I'd at least give you a general sense of what the Nimble Evolution was like. Thank you for joining us. NimbleVehicles.com, just like that, pretty straightforward. And uh, my name is Judd Newman, I'm the president of Nimble, and I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dave, I'm with C6 Outdoor, and we make the Rev Tent. The Rev Tent is a tent that can work on the roof of a vehicle, in the bed of a pickup, or on the ground. So it gives you options when camping. The rooftop tent version is only about 68 pounds. The ground version is 25 pounds. The pickup bed version is 25 pounds. And it's the only rooftop tent that one person can easily move on and off the vehicle. So if you have the rooftop tent version here, it comes with the rev tent and this platform. And you can take the tent off. This is the tent. This is the rev tent folded up. It's the uh, mattress. It's the poles and it's the tent all in one waterproof case. You can store this for transport on your vehicle. You can store it in the bed of a truck. This even fits in the back of a Tesla. When you're not camping, you could hang it on the wall in the garage. Again, it's only 25 pounds. The Rev Tent also works on full-size roof racks that are 48 inches by 84 inches. So you can mount this 25 pound tent directly to a front runner roof rack, a Rhino roof rack, a Prinsu roof rack, all sorts of brands of platform racks. It's very universal. And again, a four inch mattress. Who doesn't want to sleep while camping on a four inch real foam mattress? We don't deal with air. This tent is a real nice high-end, light aluminum, 12 millimeter thick poles. It's, a, it's the only true four season rooftop tent. Four season is traditionally in the tent space defined by a full outer fly. Not a fly that's just a top hat or a fly that's just over the windows, but a full top to bottom fly, which actually allows you to ventilate the entire inside tent and have airflow 
while you're in a massive rainstorm or snowstorm. The idea being that the inner tent is fully ventilated. You could have the inner tent windows completely down and still have full airflow, which helps when sleeping. You can avoid condensation by cracking the windows a little bit in a full rain and not have any worries about rain coming inside the tent. So yeah, it's the only four season rooftop tent. It's the only ground tent with a real, actual, legit mattress. And again, $7.99, free shipping in the US, and you have to visit c6outdoor.com if you want to check out the Rev Tent and get more details. Hey guys, uh, it's Jake here. I'm with Harker Outdoors. We're a local Utah company based out of North Salt Lake. We build these camper shells. It's, uh, it's dual purpose for you know a truck cap and a camper shell. And so I'll give you a little walk through here and show you how we set it up and you know what other features it has. So first thing you can, uh, you can do with this shell here is you can use it as you would with a regular truck cap or truck shell. You have full storage, usable space. Um, but when it's time to set up your camper, you'd pop these struts off here. Flip these latches. Now you have a nice large table space that's always with you. You can use that as a cooktop, bar, whatever, whatever's best for you. Drop your tailgate. Give this a push. Then you pull your annex out here, and this is doable with or without these doors on. Once those are out, you got a couple of quick steps. There's three buttons on this side. And some Velcro. Then you'd want to take this hook here and strap this down wherever it best suits you. I'm just going to reach here and give it a little toss. Right there. I'm not going to do the same thing on the other side just for the purpose of you guys being able to see it inside, but it's the same steps, buttons, strap. But we'll unzip this so you can see the space. I'm gonna take it off completely here and fold it up. Move that out of the way. So for lighting purposes, I'm also gonna move the second door, uh, second annex piece. You just unzip this, tuck it over, slide it out of the way, and it's still attached fully on the outside. So while you're at camp, you can you know, open up your space without totally taking your doors off. So as you can see in here now, we have, we still have that space underneath and we have the second platform that has mattress and blanket. There's enough room up here as well to leave pillows and a little bit more bedding. And with that, you just push your bed out of the way. Bedding's fine to stay there. And you have all this walkable space with or without the cabinets on the bottom. It all works the same. The camper just mounts on top of these rails here. So most trucks, no eight foot beds, but everything else we should have you covered. And that's the basic function of the camper. As far as options go, uh, we have things like this solar kit here. Uh, Dirt Circuit provided us, we have this 200 amp hour lithium battery, which is running through our custom made electrical panel. That has a wagon DC to DC charger which is connected to the alternator as well. So every time you're driving, you get power. And then from the 480 watt solar we have on the, on the roof, you're getting a charge from that all day as well. So we're running a uh, dual zone fridge here and I'm charging a one wheel and we ran the heater last night. So there's plenty of power to do whatever your uh, comfort basics might be while you're camping. Let's check out some things on the outside here. So you saw the table set up. With the table, um, that leaves you space on your L-Track here, which is standard on any camper to put whatever else you might want. So ax, shovel, gas, fire extinguisher, propane, you name it, we can, we can mount it. And above that, you'll see we have an exterior light as well. That's part of our electrical package. There's interior lights and exterior lights. And then awnings. We have multiple different awnings you can put on top. And I got another pretty cool one over here I could show you. This is a quick one, so if you just get to camp and you want a, a quickie, you can pull this out.
give that a crank and you got some shade. If you're just stopping on the side of the road for lunch, it's perfect. And a couple of facts to go with that is the camper itself is only 300 pounds. Uh, of course, the battery and that sort of thing adds a little bit more, but the base weight of a base model camper is 300. And you can put up to 600 pounds on the roof in a stationary position, and it'll lift with about 100. So you can put kayaks or a bike without a problem on the top. And then as far as pricing goes, we start at $89.99 for midsize and $99.99 for a full-size truck. Then we can build you up from there and figure out what package is best for you. If you'd like to find more information about us, visit HarkerOutdoors.com. Check us out on Instagram, at HarkerOutdoors, or Facebook as well. Uh, we have a ton of YouTube videos out there for more details, and uh, that's about it. Hey everybody, Brent Bowen with Bowen Customs. I uh, want to show you a couple builds we have at Overland Expo this year. This truck in particular is a real special build. We call it the Warthog. It is a Ram 4500. The truck went to elevation off-grid. They did their full liquid spring suspension treatment, super single wheels and tires, full blackout on the truck as well. This bed is a custom build. It's a five foot garage for hauling all the toys, everything you want to take with you. And then six and a half feet of bed space in the back for the Super Tramp camper. Now this, this bed is on an articulating subframe so that as the suspension travels, um, it's, the torsion is isolated from the bed and the camper. Um, the Super Tramp camper is a fully composite camper built kind of like a yacht in a mold. Electronic actuators pop it up, heat, AC, hot water, toilets. It's got pretty much everything that you could want. 23-0 rooftop tent, so that's kind of the kids room. I to sleep up there with my four-year-old son. Um, awning, uh, we've got a worn winch on here, Sherpa roof rack. Um, inside the garage, we're building out a full kitchen. Currently, we have the National Luna fridge, full Red Arc power management system, Fieldcraft survival, medical equipment, game changer, 270 amp hour battery by Battleborn Batteries. That build is in process, but so far we're, we're loving it. Camper also has uh, 400 amp hours of lithium with 330 amp hours of solar on top. So we've got power for days on, the, on this build. This is a really unique, special build, very purpose built for what we're trying to do with it. We have a lot of other products. One of the other real popular ones is, is our patent pending camper bed. This started out as a Ford with a six and three quarter bed. People refer to it as a short bed or standard bed. And we were able to do an eight foot camper bed on it, specifically designed to fit this eight foot Hallmark camper. One of the unique things about our build and what we have patent pending is um, this bed actually, actually has a factory floor height on the inside of it, which allows this camper to sit down low as it was intended to, as opposed to taking a camper and putting on a flat bed where it sticks up really high. There's a large gap over the cab of the truck, it throws off the center of gravity and stuff like that. So um, this is our most popular product and really what we're, we're known for. So if you look around here too, we have other options. This is on an eight foot Ford. It has a forward garage on it, as we refer to it. You can fit a full size spare tire in there. You can also do power, water, skis, kind of everything you want. So we also do flatbeds, canopies. Anyways, if you want to find out more, you can check out our website, bowencustoms.com. You can email us, info at bowencustoms.com. And uh, yeah, ask us any questions. We'll be happy to help. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Royce with Otzi Adventure Gear. This is our Otzi Adapt X. So the core of the build is the lifestyle system. We've got a big deep sink here. We use a macerator pump. Kind of loud when it's empty, but it's nice to have a garbage disposal. This is our lock-in, lock-out uh, toilet system. It's the Lavio Dry Flush. I'm 225 pounds and it's super solid. This doubles as, for our daughter, a place for her to stand on to brush her teeth. And then for my wife, she's kind of shorter, to uh, step up into bed. We do a 86 inch long full length bed. Then we have our shower, which is a fold down. Shower curtains here, pull out shower head, mixing valve. It clips into these quick retract clips here. You can see how big it gets. I'm a big guy, I shower in it no problem. The reconfiguring rail can pull to the inside and you can dry your wetsuit and have it drip dry here or pull it out to here before you get into the shower, drape your towel over it. It's a towel warmer after your shower, kick the heater on and you can actually dry your towel there. So this heater is something that me and my brother put together. It's controlled with a pulse width modulator. If you crank this up, you will be sweating in here in five minutes. Um, we have our flip over countertops. We integrate flush mounted magnets so that when they're closed up and you're going down the trail, they don't rattle. Um, you can have a three panel bed set up here with a bench in front of it. So you'd be moved forward. We split the countertops so that you don't lose your table space. Um, you can also set up all of this. If you want a lot of prep space, if you like to cook. and you end up with a ton of prep space and your cooktop there. We have plenty of 110 outlets and USBs. We do a push to open drawer here. 
and our Dometic refrigerator. We also have a vacuum. Kicks on automatic. You can service it through here and change the bag. And if you have kids and like going to the beach, that's very handy. We have our Bluetooth syncable. We have two of them, so you get surround sound. They double as flashlights and they charge when they're docked and add two more USBs. This is our central control station. You have all of your switches for gray water dump, your lighting, you have your Victron control, your Aquahawk control. We're using the Nomadic AC 12,000 BTU and we have 800 amp hours of Victron lithium. And these are all lockable latches so kids can't get into the power system. And on this side we have our plumbing system. We partnered with Aquahot on this. Everything's super serviceable, easily accessible. Like a lot of others in the industry, L-Track for our walls and ceiling, which is super handy for mounting your iPads, your shower head, coat hanger, mirror. There's all kinds of accessories that you can mount on the L-Track. And most importantly, it's serviceable walls. So if you ever decide to add any lighting or anything on the exterior, it's easy to pop those off and run new stuff. We do have heated floors. We do it a little different. Um, we actually have one inch zero compression foam routed out for PEX with uh, 16 gauge aluminum laminated over it so you get a nice even spread and that integrates right with our power our plumbing system as well. So here we have a deck and bench setup. So we've had 500 pounds out on this deck jumping up and down with zero issues. Uh, there was nothing commercially available that was strong enough, so we engineered our own slide rails. And I'll show you how the panels work and how easy it is to reconfigure. So it has a gas strut on the back, stainless steel cord, rubber coated dowels to interact with all of the holes. And it's that simple. So this does reconfigure 53 different ways now. Everything from outdoor shower deck, benches, picnic table style setup where you can have four adults sit down and eat together with a uh, massive table inside. So you'll have a deck, a bench aimed to the inside, a uh, table, and then a bench aimed towards the outside, which is pretty nice if you want to entertain. Um, and then you can do lounges, you can do bunk beds, you can do beds outside for stargazing, you can do staggered bunk beds outside so that everybody can see the stars. Um, then we have our plumbing system back here. This is our quick connect outdoor shower, onboard air, ARB, and our fill port we do on the inside so nobody can tamper with your fresh water. On this side here, you'll see all of our uh, 110 and 12 volt outlets, USBs, and uh, 110 outlet there. A configuration a lot of people like is to set up your induction cooktop, plug it in here, you have your outdoor shower there for water, and then if you take these cushions off, slide this back, use this for prep space. Okay, so you can check us out at otzygear.com or at otzygear on Instagram and see all the cool stuff coming. Say otzygear. Hey everyone, this is Taylor with Anti Shanty. We're here at Outdoor Adventure X 2023 and we are super stoked to show you some of our new products. Just a little background on Anti Shanty. We build lightweight, off-road, insulated, all hard-sided camping trailers. You can tow them with pretty much any vehicle. They're insulated, so they're four season and they're super, super lightweight, aluminum. They come with all the bells and whistles, you know, heaters, fridge, freezers, AC units that you need. Uh, we, we took that concept of our off-road lightweight trailers that you can, they're modular, so you can put uh, dirt bikes, motorcycles, ATVs inside, that kind of hard-sided cargo aspect, and we wanted to transfer that into the rooftop tent industry. So introducing our new rooftop tent, we actually don't even call it a tent, we call it a rooftop dwelling because there's no tent material or canvas to flap around, and that's one of the most uni unique features of it, is that it's all hard-sided, it's insulated, it's four season. It's all aluminum, so it's fairly light as well for what it is. And the cool part about it is it still allows you to have some cargo space in it as well. All the walls fold up into the roof and it works like a clamshell, like a cargo box. Um, so you, in the slim model, you can fit skis, uh, your mattress in there, blankets, keep some of that stuff up in the rooftop tent at all times. And then we also have a cargo model that's gonna be coming out here this fall uh, where you can load more stuff in there, use it more like a cargo box and a sleeping space when you need it. 
If you guys want to find out more and stay tuned, just go to antishanty.com. Hey, I'm Jimmy from Bare Bones. Got a couple products for you. First, we got our railroad lantern, the vintage take on the legitimate railroad lantern they would walk down the railroad with or use on the railroad. It's USB-C charged. Tells you how charged it is when it's on. And it's on a dimmer. So the dimmer key, you can get it any brightness you want. The battery comes in from the bottom and it comes with the battery, the rechargeable battery. Then putting it back on, just turn it right. And then this is our beacon lantern. Twist the top to turn it on. You can clip it on anywhere, hang it. Shows you how charged it is. It is a plastic, so when you drop it, it won't break. And also, we built in the cord for people like me who lose a lot of their charging cables or somehow they go missing. We built it in so you can't lose it. Also, this is one of our rechargeable batteries as well. That can be replaced or you can buy another one if you feel like it's gonna die on you. But generally it runs about 100 hours on low, six to 10 on high. And then we have our vintage flashlight. It's a telescopic flashlight, pops out. Tells you how charged it is on it. USB-C rechargeable. And it has the old bronze finish on the top. It's got a good weight to it. Also has a clip. So if you have it at the cabin, in your vehicle, your rig, you can just hang it right up there and uh, not have to worry about it. And this, the battery does come out from the bottom. If you were on a longer trip, say, and you did need to change it out, you can just swap it with other batteries as well or use our batteries. Generally, it'll last, if you're running it on high, it'll probably last around eight to 10, and then on low, it'll last probably like 15 to 20. So these are some of our best-selling products, some of my favorite products, especially for getting outside, whether it be camping, overlanding, even hiking, throw this, clip this on the backpack, or even just for your house. Like I have a couple of these just around my house. They just look nice, aesthetically pleasing, but actually functions. This is our Japanese Nada hatchet. Five millimeters thick on the top. It's got a full wood handle made out of real wood, copper accent, open at the end so you can hang it if you wanted to hang it on something. All of our knives and products do come with sheaths as well that clip onto your side like a belt. And everything's super sharp. We've been using this one for a long time. It still wax right in. It's great for batoning, splitting lightly. If you're gonna split light kindling, I wouldn't use it on a log this thick or even just kind of whacking off the side. Get a little kindling to start the fire for you. You can find all of our stuff at barebonesliving.com or at barebonesliving on Instagram and TikTok. Good morning, it's Dorian Hartfield from Buckstop Truckwear. We're here at the Overland Pacific Northwest in Redmond, Oregon. It's gonna be a great day. This year we're showing off the 2023 F550, which is a brand new truck for Ford. And one of the coolest things is we've got a, a new styling on this bumper. This is a trail-ready pre-runner bumper, rigid lights, worn 16.5 winch. It's got a lot more angular styling. Uh, we've got new fenders for the 2023. On the back of this truck, is a whole kind of new venture that we're working on. This body is a DIY kit from Globe Trekker. This body can be bought in panels. They, they come on a trailer flat. What we're, we're offering is uh, the assembly of the body for people who want to build their own campers. We can sell the whole entire camper. We can build it. We can put it on the truck. We can put it on the frame and then put the whole truck together. We can take it to whatever level anybody wants to do all in under the umbrella of a DIY project. This particular one is really interesting. It's got a zero torsion frame. So it allows the frame to twist while keeping the habitat completely flat. It's also, this is brand new, got release blocks so that this habitat can be removed from the truck it, like a, a typical camper, sliding camper, and you have a flatbed and then this a true off-road overland uh, four season, it's a two and a half inch thick body. So all of that's brand new. We're just feeling our way through it, but it's gonna be really neat. Our website is uh, buckstopinc.com. Hi, I'm Matt, I'm with Rift Carbon Campers. We're based out of Tacoma, Washington, and we're here at the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. This is our product. We make a all carbon fiber uh, teardrop trailer. Um, it's the only one on the market built like it is. Uh, this one built out is just under a thousand pounds, around 970 pounds. 
Um, our base model without a lot of the add-ons uh, weighs 480 pounds. So up front here we have our storage container, dual zone, all of our power stuff's in there. And so we have a Renogy 2000 watt dual sine wave uh, inverter with the Battleborn battery on the other side. A little bit of storage up front here. Everything, even including the box, is all handmade in-house. Um, all out of carbon fiber. The cool thing is too, is that the whole thing is structural and so it's got a foam core, um, it's vibration dampening and it's very, very strong. And so you can stand on this, there's no weak spots in the roof. All the way down to the doors is all custom and handmade by us. We even make the fenders ourselves um, out of carbon fiber. Another great feature is that there's no seams. Uh, so if you look at the corners, uh, all of our composite materials um, just kind of roll over. So there's nowhere for water to get in, there's nowhere for it to degrade, and there's nowhere for it to separate. Plenty of room on the inside with a queen size bed, a couple cubbies for storage. This was actually our second trailer that we built. So there's a lot of things on here that have kind of changed and moved, um, but there's a lot of miles and a lot of stories that go along with this trailer, which is pretty special to me. Went for a more uh, minimalistic approach as far as the kitchen goes. Just, we got your dual zone fridge freezer. We got the grill here. A little bit excessive with the Traeger, but it's actually really nice for shows like this. <laughs> Even got the the pass through adds a little bit of a cross breeze inside as well as uh, just being able to kind of sit down there and have a meal, talk with anyone inside while you're cooking. Check us out uh, on Instagram, Rift Carbon Campers um, or uh, www.carbonlighttrailers.com. We're the North American distributor for Schelmann Seats of Germany. And today we're at the, the expo at the Pacific Northwest um, part of the circuit. So it's the, the first morning, beautiful weather. And uh, we're here to show off our seats, um, have people sit in them and try them out. If you're not familiar with Schelmann seats, we make um, orthopedic long distance driving seats so that when you hop in one of our seats and drive all day, you get out of the car and you, you don't feel beat up and wore out. And the way that we do that is by making seats that are adjustable to fit the different people's um, sizes and shapes. The entire seat cushion is extendable or it can shorten back so it's going to fit your legs perfectly and support the back of your thighs and allow um, your legs to take your body weight instead of your hips. And then in the backrest, the, the seats adjust to be wider or narrower and the lumbar supports go up and down and forward and back. And so if you're five feet tall or six foot five, the seat can um, conform to your body and support you in a way that just lets your muscles relax. And so um, we're here to uh, let people sit in them and see them and um, experience what that's all about. We actually brought our uh, rally truck. So this is a, an old 88 Mercedes G-Wagon that um, was built by some friends of ours to race in the Sonora Rally in Northern Mexico. And then um, this year we repurposed it and, and built it up to race in the Nora 1000, which is a, a thousand mile race down the peninsula of Baja. Um, so Nicole, my wife um, and partner, um, was the navigator and I was the, the driver. Um, and this is as it finished. So we, we finished the race and it was this incredible test for the seats. This is the same seat that we sell for a Dodge truck or a Sprinter van. <laughs> we were able to uh, did give it a real world, world test off-road for five days and it was, it was really a special experience. We uh, can be found on the web really easy at www.shiel-mon.com and our Instagram is Shielmon USA. Um, we'd love to hear from you, so reach out, ask any questions. It can be really confusing what seed is the right one, but um, we can walk you through that in, in five minutes and really help you dial it in. Hi, my name is Ben. I'm with a company called Trucked. We make truck bed racks. We make truck bed racks. The racks are totally modular, completely adjustable in three dimensions, up and down, side to side, front to back. Uh, the whole purpose of our racks is to work with tonneau covers, um, especially trifolds, diamond backs, roll up covers. We focus on functionality in addition to aesthetics. We like the look of it, but functionality is number one. What I'd like to show you is we have four different size racks. We have a 6, 12, 18, and 24. The racks are all uh, interchangeable, so you can actually combine 12 inch racks and 24 inch racks, or 6 and 18, um, and you can really build the rack that you want for your specific purpose. So we have a, a, an option on our website, we call it the Overlander Special. It's a 12 inch rack on one side and a 24 inch rack on the other. It keeps your tent down low out of the wind stream and you're awning up high so you're not bumping your head at camp. This is our 24 inch rack. We've got a trifold cover that actually totally opens and closes. On the Tacoma over here, we have the Diamondback. The Diamondback cover also totally opens and closes. 
I've got a big water port weekender mounted on the molly panel there. We have a dynamic weight rating of 250 pounds and a static of 1,000. Super strong racks um, and super versatile. You can find us on gettrucked.com. Um, you can email us, text us, call us. We're uh, super friendly and love to help you out. Welcome to Vessel. I'm Crystal and I'm here to talk about the new Nest collection that we're launching in September. So here I have our new Nest pour over kit. We have a 10 ounce bean storage. We have a mug cover, which can also double as a secondary mug on this device. We have a stainless steel double wall insulated pour over device. With our pour over kit, you can store your Java grinder, which we're also launching a new version of in both a single cup and double cup capacity in September. The pour over device just gets removed and then you have your second 10 ounce mug and the pour over just sits inside. This is also gonna be sold with a stainless steel mesh filter and you can reconstruct it for compact, durable, integrated coffee solutions on the road. You can find us at VesselGear.com. Hi, I'm Wyatt with Viair, your vital air source. Uh, we're here at Overland Expo, Pacific Northwest. We make air compressors for filling up your tires basically. They're all 12 and 24 volt systems so they connect directly to your battery via battery clamps. We just came out with a brand new seven pin connector that you can basically use to connect your compressor to your trailer hitch power source. We also just came out with the Vire mounted systems, VMS. It's basically a tankless onboard air system which allows you to save space and fill up your tires faster than your standard portable compressors. We're working with companies such as Mountain Off-Road, Expedition Essentials, and Running for Tacos to make brackets specifically catered to vehicles to allow everybody to use our compressors. You can check us out online at viacorp.com. Hey guys, this is Jason Bontrager, CEO and co-founder of Skinny Guy Campers. We're here at uh, Pacific Northwest 2023 Overland Expo, and this is our brand new product. We haven't named it officially yet, but we think we will probably land on the name Multicamp on this product. So um, as you know, Skinny Guy Campers specializes in making uh, truck bed campers, both for the over overland space and the RV space. And we have a model of truck camper for every size of truck out there. So anything from a four and a half all the way up to uh, eight footers. So the product we have now is uh, we decided to work with uh, Shut Industries who makes the X-Venture trailer. This is their model XB2 and this is our model 6.5. And what we've done is we've married the two together. It's all aluminum construction, riveted together, just like the Skinny Guy Camper. Ultimately, we'll sell the product as a pair together, but you can still take the Skinny Guy Camper off of the trailer and use it on your truck. So just like our, our campers are designed to allow for a lot of storage underneath the camper in your truck bed, uh, the same applies here with the trailer. So you still get a decent amount of storage below. We're big into bringing along our own gear outside of the camper. So having the open space below our camper in the, in the bed of the XB2 is very important to us. So the, uh, the tailgate of the uh, XV2 operates very similarly to a truck bed's tailgate. Um, some very nice, uh, very nice spring-loaded pin, pins here. You also have the capability to lock, put a lot padlock on here, which is what we've done when we've traveled. So just extra theft protection, all of that. It's a couple features we've added to the the XV2 on this product, uh, the Molly grid. We added that not only for the utility of that. But we also wanted the, when the sidewall of our camper comes down to the, uh, the XV2, we wanted this to match up pretty, pretty well and be more aesthetically pleasing. So we added this grid. Uh, this is actually a, one of our grid pattern of our own design. The squares are, are typical Molly, but we've added these other pins so that you can, you can add these small uh, clips into here for some more utility. Uh, another great feature that we have is this front kitchen utility panel. This all pulls out of the front storage compartment. So you have a cooktop with a sink. Then our sink is, we don't have a faucet, but we have on the inside of the camper, we have a bullfinch shower port right there that you can utilize with this sink, this, this uh, basin that we have installed here. On the other side, we don't have firm plans, but we're thinking we're gonna put in a, uh, install a slide on the other side 
for a refrigerator. So you have an outside refrigerator, you have an inside refrigerator. Just gives you a little bit more versatility at camp. With the skinny guy being mounted on a truck, the truck is the, the stabilizing factor. There's, the trucks are heavy, so when you open this up, the only thing that you really need to use to uh, stabilize the bed is the, is the bars in the back. Now on a trailer, it's, it gets a little bit interesting. So Shut installs these, these stabilizer jacks from Arc on both sides so that it moves the, the pivot point toward the rear of the trailer. So you want to deploy those before you use the bed of our camper. Uh, that way the product won't tip. So that's what those are used for. So with the front kitchen that we've already talked about, we've opted to add a propane tank to the front, at least on this, on this prototype model. We're not 100% sure if we're gonna have this included in the package, but uh, it's here for now and we're using that to power the uh, the cooktop up front. So 20 pounds up front and you still have the 20 pounds in the camper uh, in the rear hatch. We also provide, just like the stabilizer jacks in the rear of the, of the trailer, we also include the double wheel, uh, fully swiv swiveling ARC Extreme Off-Road Series 750 jack in the front, which allows you to move the camper around. And I moved it, moved it several times in, the, in our shop back home and it's very easy to move. Um, you have extra long chains, all the safety features included here wiring up to the truck. This is not the final hitch that we're gonna use. We're gonna change this up a little bit, but uh, it'll definitely be a fully articulating hitch. Thanks for watching. This is, again, this is Jason Bontrager, CEO and co-founder of Skinny Guy Campers. Check us out on all of our socials, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and you can also go to our website, skinnyguycampers.com. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, my name is Chris. I'm with Vertex. We are a uh, low pro outdoor uh, bag pack and apparel manufacturer, uh, headquartered out of Cincinnati, Ohio. This is our, our gamut backpack, it's our flagship bag. The whole purpose behind our bags is to make a low, low vis, nondescript bag with some, with some tactical and some modular functionality. We've got lots of pockets in here. You can kind of pull this down. You have a front Velcro and Molly pouch that is actually tuckable. You can kind of hide and secure this in, in here so you can have this exposed. If you're going to an airport or something, you can uh, zipper it up and, and, and cover up. We also have G-hooks and bands that'll connect to the side for extra storage capacity. Uh, coming into the main compartment of the bag, zippers all the way down, beaver tails open. First thing you'll notice is a nice light colored interior. Also, there's, there's Velcro everywhere, USA Velcro uh, for customization for your, all your pouches, making it modular, whether you have camping equipment, hiking gear, weapon systems for, for your protection, medical, communications, camera equipment. Uh, the uses are pretty much endless here. Nice laptop sleeve that's adjustable and removable. Uh, you can actually move this laptop sleeve to the rear of the bag uh, to, to secure your uh, laptop. Coming to the rear of the bag here, we've got, again, more Velcro. Uh, I have this kitted out with a weapon system. Uh, you can have, again, anything back here, whether it's a laptop or, or any other gear. And then also, lastly, our, all of our bags are body armor capable. So you can get a level three uh, soft armor uh, from Premier Body Armor um, inserted inside of the bag and you can have a backpack with body armor protection. What that might be useful for is uh, if you are under a threat, uh, you can have this Captain America feature here that also works as a luggage pass-through, but you can kind of hold it up to your chest and use it uh, for, for your protection. You can also pass your hands through here uh, to, to manipulate your weapon or have your hands free. Kind of skipped over this, but we have some admin pockets here on the side of the bags, and then a nice big water bottle holder on the side here. Uh, this fits a full-size Nalgene with, uh, with, with a pull-down zip. So that was a super quick uh, breeze through the bags. Again, we make bags of all uh, different shapes and sizes. This is the Gamut uh, Next Gen bag. It's our flagship bag. You can either go up, up or down from here. We have our Transit Sling bag, another uh, our Dens collection, which is a more European uh, faux wax finished bag. Again, just kind of creating different looks for different environments. And then number one seller here, Tactical Fanny Pack. Fanny packs are in right now. This is just probably the best well-made fanny pack on the market. Biggest feature here is you can actually conceal a pretty full-size uh, weapon or, or handgun in here and have pr protection on you. So if you're camping or bear spray, you need to have uh, access to a, a weapon for your protection. You can, you can do that comfortably and durably. Uh, I'm gonna move on to these uh, stackable storage cubes. This is a really neat uh, product that we have just at the market uh, a few months ago. This is our, our step into the outdoor and overlanding scene. Tons of utility with these bags. Uh, there's seven different SKUs and they can kind of uh, tongue and groove together to create a stackable uh, storage function. You can see that they're kind of modular um, and, and stackable. So there's tons of utility here. You can have uh, vehicle recovery equipment, tools, uh, again, more Velcro for your customization. Um, and again, it's just a, a really great product to have 
uh, for, for your back of your truck, for overlanding, for camping, or just in the back of your SUV for, for jumper cables and, and emergencies. And then lastly, I'm going to go into our, uh, our apparel here. We are a low-vis uh, backpack and apparel manufacturer, and our apparel is actually kind of where we started from. We do light-colored pants, uh, super light pants, shirts, flannels, uh, and they're all designed to have tons of pockets, tons of functionality, but not look uh, very tactical. And about 80% of our products, we use, we utilize a fabric technology called 37.5 fabric technology. It's not ours, we license it. And it's essentially a thermoregulating technology uh, that regulates your core body temperature to 37 and a half degrees Celsius. Um, and it does that by using lava rocks. Yes, I said it, lava rocks. So what they do is they take lava rocks, they crush them down into powder, the powder goes into the fibers, the fibers go into the thread of the material. This technology doesn't wash out, it's not going to uh, rinse out in, in, in your washes, it's very breathable and very low odor retaining. Um, and so what it does is when you're getting uh, hot and sweaty, the lava molecules actually wick away the moisture before they have a chance be, uh, to become sweat. Um, there's more surface area to wick away the moisture. If you, when you're getting a little bit cold or chilly, those same lava molecules uh, trap the IR from your skin, energize, and that warms you up. And it, guys, it really works. It's a great fabric technology. You can find it, 37.5 fabric technology in your uh, bed sheets, your pillowcases, um, all types of other apparel. And we utilize it in ours and it's great. So this is a, a new shirt. It's a, a Fieldcraft Recce shirt that we, that we have that utilizes the technology. Um, our cutback technical pants is a very popular pant with it. Um, and then we have our last line of defense flannel. I don't believe this has any of it, but this is a, a great flannel. Uh, that's on the market, very soft and comfortable and extremely durable. So guys, that's a quick rundown on Vertex. Again, uh, you can check us out at vertex.com, uh, low viz, bag pack, and apparel manufacturer. Thanks so much. Morning, I'm Sean from Tune Outdoor, one of the founders, and I'm here to show you the Tune M1. Here it's on a full-size Ford F-150, and over here we have it on a Tacoma midsize. So it's a custom backcountry truck camper. It'll fit any rectangular pickup truck, fully customizable. Let me show you some features real quick. First off, all our extrusions are custom. So in this case, the bed extrusion is winged to give some extra cubic space internally. And there's T-slotting on all the surfaces, both inside and out. So it's really a, a boon for the do-it-yourselfers. On the F-150, there's over 500 feet of T-slots, every extrusion level, including the roof. So you can do a lot with it. Corner brackets are polymer. First time they've been used in this industry. It's primarily a product that's used for shipping propellers. Extremely strong when tested with the extrusion. The extrusion fails before the polymer when we test it to failure. So it's an extremely durable and strong material. Third big material we're using in our campers is FRP or fiberglass reinforced polypropylene. Incredibly hard. It's both here and on the roof, and it won't be damaged by hail. One other thing you'll notice is our full panel glass awnings. This is an option, but a beautiful one. It gives it a nice aesthetic, and we weren't able to break it under very rigorous testing, so we brought it to market. Let's step inside. When you come into the tune, the first thing you're gonna notice is the immense amount of space, especially in the full size. Full queen bed, 60 by 78, so you can sleep east-west. And also in the Tacoma, 72 by 60, it's also a queen. We're one of the only companies that offers a full queen in a mid-sized truck. In addition, at the roof level, you've got full interior halo lighting. And also coming with our camper, a four inch foam mattress. So it's quite comfortable and ready to go. And the biggest question of all, how much does it cost? For the full size, we start at 14,000. For the mid-size, we start at 13. Weight-wise, without the glass, this comes in at around 450 pounds, and the mid-size Tacoma is gonna be just below 400. We can serve you on a, on a six-week lead time, so if you'd like to see more about the Tune M1, please go to tuneoutdoor.com. Thank you. Hey, I'm Ryan, and I'm with Rockpot. Today, I'm gonna to give you a rundown of how our portable slow cooker works. So this is the Rockpot. We have a patented rock tablet. This allows you to heat 
up your food and cook it. So the rock pot will essentially cook your food and keep it warm for 10 plus hours. You can heat your rock tablet over a fire for 30 minutes or over a gas or electric stovetop. And once it's heated, you place it underneath your cooking pot. This has got all your raw food and then it'll cook it, like I said, and keep it warm for over 10 hours. But the beautiful part about the rock pot is it is double walled lining. So even though we may have food in here at hour one to hour 10, it'll still be safe to touch while the food is cooking or staying warm. For example, we put a roast in here over 10 hours ago and it is still nice and warm. The carrots are soft, the potatoes are soft, and the meat is fully cooked. Again, four and a half pound roast. You can do things like soups and stews, roast, casseroles, you can bake bread, you can boil water for pasta or for rice. It's very versatile and it does have a lifetime warranty. We do have a storage bag and other add-on pans so you can cook multiple things at once. But the rock pot does again have the lifetime warranty because we really stand behind our product. It is a very high quality. If something happens, we're going to back you up with it. But if you want to find out more information, you can go to rockpotusa.com. This is Aussie Hamrick with uh, Teardrops Northwest here at the Overland Expo P&W uh, out in Redmond, Oregon, just north of Bend. So we're just here to show you our, our largest model, our Commander, which is a 5x10. This one weighs in about 2,200 pounds, but depends on your options. We're going to go through it and show you what you got. We'll start off with the amazing galley here. You know, this really is one of the differentiators that sets us apart. So lots of storage. We try and pack as much as we can in here and maximize that space. Uh, one of the biggest ads this year um, with the questions about sinks all the time is this nice piece here. Uh, Dometic's been an amazing partner to work with us. And so that's where this comes into play. This just plugs right in. That's got a magnetic base, so you're all set. Drop the sink in, and now we're ready to rock and roll and do some dishes. Might just take a second for that water to come through, and then we're good. Along with that, got our Dometic fridge in here. We can do some different sizes as needed, but that's kind of our go-to. Within here, lots of different storage. Store what you need. We do have a nice pass-through that goes into the galley. Stainless steel countertop on this one. We got a couple different options as well. And then in here, lots of different storage some deep nice big drawers um, within it as well store what you need again maximize that space um, and of course down here you want your big pots and pans um, but you also want to prep that's going to be your best option uh, you really get that full circle of your kitchen so you cook in here you can prep you can clean wash your hands do all the good stuff um, along with that our power system and this particular model with the options we've got a couple hundred amper uh lithium batteries from xb 360 also a big partner of ours here in bend that's what this monitor is for know what i've got going on uh, we've got some various lighting that is all controlled through here as well as some 12 volts and some usb ports we've got lots of storage in here you've got some big storage up top and some storage below and then some overhead storage with some touch lights queen size mattress 80 inches plenty of space for those guys that say this is too small for them I think we got you covered. Roof rack is standard. This one has a 180 awning on the other side. We've got our kayak, our shower room, everything you need. This is our water storage, additional tank uh, for your shower, as well as just in general, as you need it. Stay out as long as you want to. Big aluminum box here. Got your battery stored. This is where we got our lithium batteries, additional storage as needed. Uh, and then our controller for our solar panel uh, that's on the back. And then one of the coolest features up front is our arc jack stand. Extremely rugged, move you around as needed, really back into that space where nobody can go, um, along with the fully articulated max coupler hitch um, to make sure that nothing happens as you're getting off road. Yeah, come find us. We're uh, here in the Northwest in Salem, Oregon. Uh, we've got a couple rentals. You can test them and then we'll get you one built just for you. Uh, you can find us at teardropsnorthwest.com or on social media, Teardrops Northwest or Teardrops NW. And we'd love to see you. Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Taruka USA. And today we wanted to show you our newest rooftop tent. So our newest rooftop tent has a lot of improvements in it. The first thing we did is we thought about everybody who's gonna be sleeping in it and we want you guys to be comfortable. So we've gone ahead and we've upgraded our mattress pad to a memory foam pad. It's got a built-in condensation mat. So you don't have to worry about when you're sleeping in there, it's gonna get all funky and moisture inside the tent. And we've also added a lot of little pockets for you to be able to store all your stuff. So this is our shack tent. First thing that you're gonna notice is our porch 
actually extends out further than most rooftop tents, which is a plus. We don't want to get wet whenever it's raining. But the most important part about the tent that we love and we think you're going to love is we've actually outfitted the entire roof of the tent with LED lights. So that's going to make it easy for you to work off grid. It's going to make it easy for you to read, journal, anything that you might have to do just before you go to sleep. So we hope you enjoyed our walk around about this new Taruka Shack tent. Go to tarukausa.com. Check out all of our Overland products, our awnings, our shower en suites, and our rooftop tents. And we hope to see you inside of one pretty soon. Hey guys, my name is Jags. We're here at Pacific Northwest Overland Expo. We're here to show you a quick walk around of pack out campers and what has to offer. Our frame is made out of extruded aluminum, which is inside and out is mounting points. If you close this right now, the two gall wing windows, you can mount two full size mountain bikes. And then also our panel, we offer free gastric upgrades, really depends on how much weight you want to carry on this side. And also we have a small little accessories right here, which is called a slot table. You can use it also inside and outside. All you have to do is slide it on this side, move it to the other side, and use the same exact strap to go inside. So let's hop in and go inside. So we're going to talk about our sleeping platform. Um, our floor right now is gastro assisted. So when you're ready to sleep, all you have to do, you have this guy right here, and then you enter from this side, you're ready to sleep. We're on a three inch foam mattress. You can leave all your bedding, your pillow, no problem. You can still be able to close it. Pull this one up. Now you have a working table that you can use right here. Same exact on this side. Close that guy. Move that foam. And also you have a working table, the same exact side. Now, let's go to other accessories. We have Molly panel. We also have on our, on our gullwing window. We have our slot table. Same, you can use it either outside or inside. Same exact strap. Now, we're also our camper cubby, as we call it. This is our version four, but the final will be powder coated and ready to go. You can use one cubby window, two, or four all around the camper. And also for the tent, right now, this setup is our summer setup, which you have three wide open windows, best for views that you can do. On winter, we also offer insulated sidings. The website is www.backoutcampers.com. My name is Mike Weiss. We're here with Optimal Batteries today, and we are promoting our new lithium power sports line of batteries. These are called an orange top battery. And depending on the size of your power sports application, from a small dirt bike up to a uh, UTV or side-by-side, -side, we have all those applications covered. We're also here with our Optima Lithium Power Station. And what this does, it has a 1K solar panel, it has a big 55 kilowatt hour battery pack, and that allows us to run our camp, uh, cook food, heat water, and also top off our Rivian. So we have an R1T Rivian over here, which we're recharging, and an R1S over there. So all with this, lithium technology. So one of the neat things about our new lithium orange top batteries is there's actually a computer in here, a BMS, that monitors and controls everything inside the battery. On every battery, there's something called the power link cable. This gets zip tied on a frame rail or a handlebar anywhere in the vehicle. It is your location for maintaining and charging that battery because a lot of times these are tucked up away and hard to get to. It's your area where you see the indicator lights. This will tell you state of charge, if there was a problem, what to do and how to troubleshoot that. And it also has what we call Optima CPR. If you left your headlight on and drain that battery down overnight, this will turn itself off. It will keep one last start. You come out in the morning and you hit this button and you can start your vehicle. So just a little bit of the new tech that's in the BMS in this lithium line. So these batteries just launched. If you go to OptimaBatteries.com, you can put your year make model of your vehicle and figure out which group size is for you and make your purchase there. Hi, my name is Sam Ridge, and we're here at the Pacific Northwest Overland Show in beautiful Bend, Oregon. Uh, my company is Overland Rough Racks, and we specialize in not only kitchens, which we're going to show you about today, but bed racks and roof racks for full-size trucks. Three years ago during COVID, I was asked to put a tent on my truck, and I thought they were nuts. I absolutely thought they were nuts. And I said, I have a 19-room you know, tent from Walmart. It's fantastic. It's great. And no, they put it on your truck. So I went to look for a bed rack for my Silverado and there was nothing available for full-size trucks. I've been a fabricator for about 35 years and we came up with something and I said, I'm gonna build my rack. So we decided to build one. And what I noticed was there was people that would come in and say, honk the horn and say, I wanna buy that from you. Where'd you get it? So I actually, in, in two to three months, I saw a hole in the market. So I said, I'm onto something. Developed a user group, 
showed them my samples and would continue to improve, improve, improve. And somewhere along the way, I can't tell you the month, it was like June or July, I started this company. And I'm dead set on it, USA made, the best of the best, well thought out, no drilling holes, cross compatible with all the industry parts. And the big thing is I wanted the end user to have an amazing experience to build it for themselves with two wrenches and no drilling. So I took the pain out of it. We made them, made the mistakes, put all the fittings where they need to. I'm happy to say now that we cover all the two, from 2014 up to 2024, all full size trucks. In addition, the new Rivian has been fantastic for us. And our number one seller right now is the Jeep Gladiator with a tunnel cover version. We actually have that now. One of our staples of our product is a tunnel cover version, electric. And what that is, so we keep all your products. If you see, we have refrigerators in here. We've got compressors. We've got a kitchen. We actually attach to the T-slot on top of the roll and lock tunnel cover. We're actually going to be working with Retracts now with the new version. It has a, a key fob to it. It has a pad so you can open it up. Connects to the ECU unit. You can open it up remotely next level so that's going to be that again kind of a staple we started for it the premise what i wanted i wanted hot water i wanted a tunnel cover that was big for me and i wanted usa made we accomplished it so now t-slot this this rack right here if you have a tunnel cover with a t-slot on top i could take this very rack and i could put it on any 1500 that's out there and that was another goal as a small company i didn't want to have a million SKUs. All these parts are cross compatible with any 1500 and 2500 that's out there now. The only difference on the 2500 is our Molly panels are longer. But now that I keep my skew count low, then I can actually do all this. And one of the number one things that people will get, well, they'll get a shovel, they'll get roto packs, off the bat, traction boards. You have trouble drilling holes in these things. These all come with riv nuts in place for roto packs right out the get go. You can turn them left, you can turn them top ways if you want depending on what your rack scheme is. They're already set for you. There's also three eighths inch bolt holes here with rib nuts in here. Seven inch on center for agency six is one of my partners. Without the carrier, you can bolt this directly into the molly panel without having to have the carrier. And there you go. And it's secured, ready to go. And the idea is that I do not want to have anybody drill any holes into this because if you drill into this, it creates a rust point. We have cold roll steel with galvanil on it and that's a rust preventative. Then we powder coat over it. We spend three times the amount of money on the powder coating to get the best of the best on a USA made product. It's extremely sturdy and durable. That's our new Molly panel systems. We have it on inner Molly panels as well. The same powder coating, the same Molly panel scheme here with all the rib nuts. Agency six grab handles to pull up so you can climb all over your rack, access, shut your tent. We have a little bit of a power station here. We got the Optima power station here that's powering up the lithium batteries, trickle of charge in it. We have our switch pros in here, another partner of ours. Runs all the components, refrigerators, lights, compressors, heating elements for hot water. They do a fantastic job. Really, really simple, extremely stable. It's water resistant. It's been in the element and it's still lasting. In our roof rack, we call this the Condor Series. And a Condor Series comes with a two-piece side panel, two-piece front. So if you start without a light bar and you say you don't want to do any wiring, you put on our rack here. We have our down brackets, our lights. I have an integrated light bar from Rigid Industries. That's the uh, Adapt Series. And if you were to start out again with no roof rack, with no light on there, if you wanted to go to a light, the only thing you'd have to change are the two fascia panels and a bracket. And back here, all this investment still becomes retained because it's all compatible. One of the things I like here is that these handles are nice and sturdy. We got six clip points here. I like the contour, what the rack's doing with it as well. Uh, and of course a USA made product as well. So we like that. I decided to make a camp kitchen. It's got to pass my test in order for me to sell it. When I made this, I just wanted to go bigger, go home. All book match walnut because we want to have that home feeling, right? When this thing pulls out, you've got this full area of cooking and prep area. We have burners here that actually work. And I want full size pans in here. It's 3,800 BTUs. These burners are absolutely phenomenal. You can control the heat, high or low. You can cook with the wok down to simple things like cooking eggs and pancakes and it's super simple. We offer this on our website, uh, as well as all the racks. And again, a big thing for me was I wanted USA made product. That's really important for us. All our mainline sponsors are all USA made. All my products are USA made as well. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. So we're at overlandroughracks.com and Rough Racks is spelled R-U-F-F-R-A-X.com. And we'll see you at the next show. Thanks guys. Hi guys, my name is Ron Nelson. I'm here with Nam Nutrition at the Outdoor Adventure Expo. Nam Nutrition stands for nutrition for outdoor movement and we are here to keep you hydrated and feeling good on all your outdoor adventures so we have a couple products to show you here first is our before product so this is a pre-workout for endurance athletes 
This is not a gym pre-workout where you're gonna be shaky and sweaty and jittery. This is really made to prime you for those longer outdoor adventures. So we have a bunch of electrolytes in here. We have nootropics like ginkgo balboa and panic ginseng to get you dialed in and ready. And then we have a lot of performance ingredients like beetroot and beta alanine. So you're gonna get ready to go and it's gonna give you a sustained energy throughout the entire experience. If you're a climber, if you're a runner, if you just wanna perform better at your next race, this can be an awesome product for you guys. Next, we have our During. This is our hydration fuel. A lot of people, when they go outdoors, they just think electrolytes. Electrolytes are great, but if you're not fueling yourself, you're gonna crash after an hour or two. So in our During, we have a full blend of electrolytes to mirror everything that you're sweating out. Then we also have 100 calories and 25 grams of carbs. On top of that, we throw a bunch of BCAAs in here, which stand for branch chain amino acids. BCAAs are huge to prevent muscle breakdown, so you're gonna recover faster and you're gonna feel better while you're out on the trail. These products are really made to keep you outdoors longer. Our tagline is nourish the moment. We wanna nourish these moments that matter so you feel better and you can really enjoy the experience outdoors. We're a Utah-based company, locally owned and operated, and we're available at www.outdoornom.com, or you can check us out on Instagram at Outdoor Nom. Come check us out, guys. Hi, guys, I'm Carlos uh, with Tribe Trailers. We're here at Overland PNW, and this is our flagship model, the Base Camp Trailer. Starting here, we got the kitchen. This is our new dual burner stove. It comes with two burners, it's 10,000 BTUs. It's got a sink over here as well. It runs off of a pump over here. Trailer comes with plenty of storage, very big drawers. Goes a 110 outlet right here with buttons for all the lights. It's got 360 lighting. This is our fridge unit. It's got two 12 volt uh, outlets so you can plug in your fridge and it goes all the way to the front of the trailer so you can fit a giant refrigerator in there. Everything you see here comes included. The 270 Batwing awning, our proprietary tent also comes included with the trailer. Over here is our power bank system. So we have 100 amp hour AGM battery, 1000 watt inverter, and then a DC and an AC inverter. Also comes with a solar plug back here. There's no solar included in the trailer, but it's very easy to install. It's just solar plug to an Anderson plug, and then you can plug it right stra straight into your solar. It has storage for two jerry cans, so you can either have gasoline, diesel, water, whatever you want up here. It's got a hand pump, so if that sink unit ever breaks, or if you run out of battery, you can always access your water. The trailer comes with 17 gallons on board. Right here, we got our shore power plug. Right here, we got our water inlet that just goes right in here. You can see it drains down to our water basin right here. And that's got a bunch of skid plates on it so you can drag it almost over anything. So this is our poly block articulating hitch. You can see it articulates all four ways. You got left and right, forward and back, and it's also got a small buffer in it. So if you're on the trails, you see something you don't like, you slam on your brakes, it's gonna absorb a lot of that energy there for you. For suspension, we have independent A-arm. It comes with uh, one shock on each side, but there's also room to add another shock if you'd like to. We recommend Bilstein's. That's what we run on here. Standard with this trailer, it comes with a KO2 tires 31s, and the bolt pattern is the same as a Jeep, so it's a five by five bolt pattern. You guys can follow us on Instagram at Tribe Trailers, uh, or find us on our website, tribetrailers.com. Again, this is the base camp. Thanks for having us. My name's Josh, I'm with Nomadica Outfitters. We're here in the Covea booth at Overland Expo Pacific Northwest, and we're gonna show you the bamboo one action table. This is the same table here, all three of these. So that's telescoping legs, so you can adjust it to all three heights. And then I'm gonna show you how it works here. This is it, all folded up. Uh, it's about 20 pounds. The legs across the bottom make for a nice uh, um, handle for carrying it. And to open it, flip it out. And at the lowest height, you're done. To get to the other levels, the legs just telescope out. And there's a small ball detent that you just push to get to the next height. Flip it over. And that's it. Uh, this is probably our best selling stove. It's the Slim Twin. It's a pretty standard two burner, propane powered with a hose. This is the latest color we have. It's sort of a flat gray with a metallic flake. The lid here doubles as your windshield, folds up, super thin. This is the button for your igniters, and then if you're trying to cook on really large pots, the lid just lifts right off. This is the all-in-one medium. This pot setup is kind of designed for like Korean-style barbecue or shabu-shabu. It's a really great pot that doubles as any sort of one-pot meal that you're cooking in there. You can use it just as a skillet for eggs and bacon as well. 
and then it's a cast iron. You have these other attachments, this one here, is so you can just run a traditional pot on top of it. And then this is the barbecue grill, so you can grill burgers or flip the skewer supports up and you can cook skewers. It has a, a removable drip tray to make cleaning a little easier. And then all that packs up and stores in this carry bag. So you can find all these products on nomadicaoutfitters.com or coveausa.com. My name is Quade Sheehan. I'm the owner of Overland Adventure Truck. We're based out of Olympia, Washington, and here, we're here enjoying the uh, 2023 Pacific Northwest Overland Expo. So at Overland Adventure Truck, we started our uh, business based on LMTVs and FMTVs. And as you can see right here, we've got our subframe mounting system points. And that's really what got us started. And basically that elaborated into building total composites, uh, composite shells, building torsion-free flatbeds, and all sorts of custom solutions to meet expedition vehicle travel demands. So as you can see, we've got these fancy steps here. These are all custom made in house. Uh, we build custom flatbeds, but this one is not one that we built. We did, however, build this shell in a fully outfitted interior that's uh, ready to be delivered to the customer. So this camper here was designed entirely based upon a couple's needs. They have two children, three years old and five years old. So their goal was to have enough space to where their children could not only sleep um, initially on this base level bed where if we remove this lagoon table mount and then unclip this latch over here, this whole bed structure or bench will slide out and then the cover or the padding cushions from the bench will sit down here and now we have a full bed space. Once the children are a little bit older and don't want to share the bed anymore, now we've got some reinforced points of attachment up on these wall sections where the client's going to put in what's called a pipe berth or essentially a, a suspended cot. Um, over on this side, they're gonna put some climbing holds up here for some fun ways to climb up. And um, then once uh, sleeping time's over, the bench goes back in, the table gets reinstalled, and then they have plenty of room for their whole family to sit around the table while they're preparing meals, getting ready for skiing, uh, mountain biking, whatever adventures are in store. To go along with this whole interior, we've got 20 removable gallons of fresh and gray water. Uh, that way there's easy winterization, um, as well as being able to fill uh, the jugs anywhere necessary that you can't get a hose to. We've got a Dometic refrigerator right here. This whole thing is powered by a 400 watt solar power system that feeds into a goal zero. Um, as of right now, this is probably one of my favorite build layouts that we've done because for the footprint of this, of only six and a half feet, this camper feels massive inside. So whether it's a composite camper or a subframe mounting system, uh, we are all about custom solutions to design a camper that's gonna be right for you. So. If you need custom cargo boxes and articulating flatbeds or stairs, anything, please tell us your needs. We'll try our best to make it happen. You can find us online at overlandadventuretruck.com or on Instagram, uh, Overland Adventure Truck. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, I'm Elizabeth with deepsleepoverland.com. We are here at the Pacific Northwest Overland Expo 2023. Our booth here, we're displaying our newest products. We have our rooftop tent, ground tent mats. Uh, we have two sizes, 80 inches by 27 or 80 by 24. They're modular sizes that um, one or both will fit any main brand of rooftop tents. And then we're also known for our very specific fitting mattresses for vehicles. So we outfit Broncos, Forerunners, Jeeps, Subarus, almost any SUV or truck bed. And we have patented designs that contour around wheel wells and consoles for a perfect fit, no waste of space. Um, we do offer an air mattress. Our most popular product is our solo mat, which is foam and air. It's five inches thick, self-inflating foam, has a R value of 18, um, so it's good for all weather camping. And we also offer accessories like window screens, car camping fans, anything that's car camping related, you'll find it here. So hit us up, deepsleepoverland.com. And you'll also find our original flagship business was deepsleep4jeeps.com, which we still run separately just for our uh, special Jeep collection. Kevin Cooper, uh, Snow Trailers, and we're at Overland Pacific Northwest. On our Alpine model, which is our Jeep truck model, came up with an open kitchen concept to where you have no obstructions from the kitchen cooking to your coffee bar, prepping, plenty of pantry space in here, plus you've got your full 75 liter uh, refrigerator freezer, 
dual zone in here. And of course, in the open concept, everything's covered by a nice 270 degree awning, which it makes things just a little, little nicer. And then on top here, you got a nice little shelf uh, with all your control panels. So everything is right here from a uh, inverter, your onboard battery system, your light switches to control your lights on and off. And of course, if you need to charge up your electronics right there. All our drawers consist of push locks into place. So that way, when you're on the trail, nothing gets out of control and flies around. So everything has this nice little cubby hole. Everything you see here fits in a nice little spot for, for the travels. And here you'll see we have something kind of unique. That is a Fabtech suspension that is a shock tower on the outside of the box, which allows us to give a full length shock. So what that means for us is on trail, uh, the trailer is really not getting beat up. The trailer is acting very nice, uh, handles all the dips really good. And then the bonus is on the highway, when you go on the highway, the trailer just doesn't pop. So none of your internal stuff is getting beat up when you get to your destination. Everything is where it should be when you put it. Then as you come to the backside, you'll kind of see the extreme height we have here. So one of the cool things we wanted to do is give an awning that has extreme, you know, as much height as possible. So we did a very simple gas assist lift system. Um, so this allows a six foot seven gentleman to get under here and uh, clear and not have to duck, which gives you a really concept of, of really openness and you know kind of spacious area then as you come back to our stainless steel kitchen this is one of the things that's kind of like the buzz everybody talks about is it is a 36 length full integrated stainless steel kitchen system it has all your drawers for all your knickknacks your any kind of pots pans stir sticks cutting boards we put in a dometic drop-in uh, which could be fold down and used as the prep table. We also put a nice stainless steel backer here. So if you don't use the Dometic system, if you just have your own cooktop, you put that on here and you still have a nice stainless steel back area and a wind protector. Then of course you got a Dometic drop-in sink. Everything that we see here is all designed to be pulled down and stored under the sink, including the drain hose that drains all your fluids out into a little catch basin. Above that is a fixed shelf. We did something with this loop strap pulled down. So basically these drawers pull all the way out and allow you to put a very simple loop strap system in here so you can pack as much gear up to the top as you want. So we have our Starlink in here. We usually put our solo stoves in here, our nice chairs in here. We pack this up pretty good. We can get a lot of, lot of product in here. And of course, dual locks, it's 500 pounds, so it holds a lot of weight. Locks into place again. So now by locked into place, using your loop straps, all your gear is nice and, and steady and tied down. It's not gonna move around on you come up to the top and you'll see a gap here between the tent in there. These are crossbars. Uh, we basically consulted with Prince who CBI. So all of their accessories clip right on here. So if you already have a Jeep or you have a Toyota that has all these accessories on there, you can simply put them on here back and forth. So now you put your roto packs on here, jacks on here, tables. Uh, we just put a simple barbecue table on ours when we go camping. Down below, you've got a recovery system in here. So this is a full, um, linked all the way to the tongue so it is part of the trailer it's actually a hitch so you can actually put a motorcycle rack back here if you wanted and carry your vehicle around or your motorcycle and then of course we use arc levelers to level up this system so we use four so we have two arcs up here we have two jacks on the front so it doesn't matter what terrain you're on you can get yourself nice and level it makes it a lot more comfortable when you're sleeping as we go to the top up here you'll see we put OVS's nomadic four which is their biggest tent and we kind of wanted to showcase that that this rack is so modular that you can put any tent will go on top of this rack system so it doesn't matter what you guys own as we come back around here you're going to see a nice little trash can sitting right here so we did this for the cook to have a spot to put his you know trash in and of course we have a nice steel uh, gate spare tire gate has rotopacks on the inside because that's kind of like dead space so we give one water one fuel you'll see a full size spare tire and you're going to see method rims on here so one of the things that we believe in in the trailer world is give you off-road tires and give you some nice off-road rims so that one you pick up a trailer from us you're literally putting your goodies on it and you're heading out on the trail and you're having a lot of fun uh, and of course we had some fun with you know some of our uh, vendors ovs this is a nice little garment rack that flips on this side of the tire so that way you have your living quarters. That side is the entertainment side. This side is the living quarter side. We gave you another full size box that you can actually put bags into here. So everybody has their own garment bag. So you pack it up, you got little clear deals in here, put your name in here so that everybody knows what their bags are. We have another control panel over here. So we use Switch Pros for our lighting. So I have a, a Switch Pro control here and I also have one on that side or you can use your app if you're inside your tent. So very easy to get to your, your electronics now. 
even the refrigerators and electronics are all in your app so you literally if it's an early morning and you just don't want to get out of bed you can just stay in your tent and control everything this is kind of like a little health and beauty area so you can do shaving comb your hair got a hot water heater for your shower uh, if you zip in an annex it has the door now you've got a door to your shower so you've got some privacy um, when you're out camping so if you're uh, one of those early risers and you just want to take a shower you, we make it very convenient for you guys to do that then as we come around the front you'll see we use a max coupler we use a full steel chassis that has a proprietary anti-rust on it and powder coated we give you a full box system with electronics so Renogy is one of the customers we uh, companies we use. We use a 30 amp uh, solar controller. Uh, as you saw earlier, we had a solar panel up there running our whole system. So we're just we have a 100 amp AGM in here that runs the whole box. And as you come in through and see electronics, you'll see some polycarbonate protectors here. So that way it allows the guy to throw his gear in here, not worry about damaging any electronics. So if they're on the trail and they need to get the recovery stuff, it's very easy. We also put a nice 3M protective guard on all our forward facing products. So all the forward facing edges of the trailer all have a 30 mil 30, uh, 3M protective on there. This gives the trailer that look and you know, very easy to clean the mud off. When the mud gets on there, you just hose it off, it wipes right off. But it also gave us a nice platform to protect all of our input. So we have shore power input, we have solar input, and then we also have power out. So now everything's all nice and clean when you get your destination, you're not trying to knock mud off. Uh, so it's nice and easy to use. You'll notice two pretty fairly good sized propane bottles back there. Those are 11 pounders. So now you're taking 22 pounds of propane on the trail with you. So not, you know, it's, you know, five pounds are good, 10 pounds are good, but if you can have 22 pounds, that just takes it to a whole nother level. Now you can pop out your, uh, your fire pit and burn it every night and have to worry about um, losing your propane. You'll notice the, the molly panels up here. So every door that we have has a molly panel standard and allows you to put cool things like this. So this is our first aid kit that we just popped on the front here. So we have extra clips, we have extra batteries for locking up if we ever leave. And of course, I've got a nice first aid kit, very easy to get to. And that's you know made possible because these molly panels allow us to clip in things very simple, keep them out of the way and keep everything or organized. Even their Yeti pouches, our hatchets, any of the stuff you need to get to very easy. And that is our Alpine model. And this is our flagship model today. Uh, we do have a lot of exciting stuff coming up behind me right here, that white one. Uh, we actually originally built that for Yamaha to be a side-by-side -side trailer. But our latest adventure that we've been doing has been with Subaru. So we got a Subaru Outback and we towed that all around and uh, it was quite ex exciting. The Subaru didn't even know the trailer was back there. It tracks with inside the, the wheel track. So when you're uh, going around navigating the city or the dirt roads, you don't have to do anything special. Wherever the car turns, the, the trailer follows perfect. And it's basically a mini version of the Alpine. So it's just a lot less weight. Dry weight on this trailer is 1600 pounds. Dry weight on that trailer is 700 pounds. So with all the gear in here, the way it sits, you're at 2,000 and all the gear with that one, you're at 1,025. So very light trailer, very easy to use. And of course, the kicker, the really good thing is both these trailers fit inside your single car garage. So you don't have to pay for storage. All right, so Kevin Cooper, Snow Trailers, dub, 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 SNO Trailers. That's snotrailers.com. What's up, everybody? My name's Alex from Decked. We make drawer systems, toolboxes, and cargo glides. I'm gonna walk you through our drawer system here. We're an American manufacturing company that makes our products right here in the USA. We've got a factory in Ohio where we manufacture these things. Let's take a look at it. This is our full-size drawer system. We've got two drawers. They can carry all your gear. We've got a number of accessories. We've got boxes. We've got trays and about a million different ways that you can customize this and organize this exactly how you want for whatever your needs are. The units are super weatherproof, rain and snow. Each drawer can hold 200 pounds at full extension, and the payload on the top of the unit is 2,000 pounds. We've got accessories like this traction mat to ensure that things stay put on top, and we've also got ammo can storage bins in all four corners so you maximize the storage space when you have the system installed. You can check us out at decked.com and on social media at Decked USA. Thanks for stopping by. Hi, I'm Reed Gertis with Wolf Riggs, and uh, I built a uh, Overland vehicle on a Humvee chassis. So why a Humvee? Well, it can four wheel anywhere, and it's not a, uh, it has much better departure and approach angles than a, a Sprinter van. So we were gonna build Sprinter vans, but decided we wanted to build something a little more capable. So here it is, the Wolf Rig. 
The exterior, I wanted it to be, you know, just, I wanted it to be tough, I wanted it to be simple. I wanted it to be something that could go anywhere. So we actually replaced all of the drive line. We replaced the engine, we replaced the, uh, all the drive uh, shafts and half shafts, and we moved the brakes from the inner uh, section to the outer wheels, which is, you know, kind of one of those things that is needed to happen to be on the highway. So the outside is super tough, and the inside is super bougie, is the best way to put it. So uh, it's kind of a yin and a yang. So I've had a lot of people say they, they weren't expecting that when they walk in. So let's go inside. So this is the interior. And as you can see, it's, it, it feels more like a home than it does like an RV or a lot of uh, Overland vehicles. So we have plenty of storage on either side of the shower. So these are actual teak doors, they roll up. We have drawers that slide out. We also have baskets that come out. We also have under the, the uh, countertop storage and it goes all the way down to the floor. So when you're traveling and you're on a real steep uh, departure angle, you don't have stuff flying on in the head. Another nice feature in this is that the shower is nice and big. I'm 6'1", kind of a big guy, and uh, I didn't want to have to take a shower with my toilet. So we have a system where it goes in and out of the wall. And I can take a shower without having to have my toilet in my shower. So that's one very nice thing that we have. So you get your sink over here, you have your cooking area over here. We have a fridge and freezer. We have more storage uh, upper and lower and then underneath the cabinet. We do uh, run a uh, 12 volt AC system, 22,000 BTU, uh, makes this thing into an ice box. It's a little loud sometimes, so I turned it off just right now, so it's getting warm in here. <laughs> uh, we do have an R13 value and everything. The whole cab is really designed to have every all the systems inside versus uh, having anything exposed to the elements. So you can go extreme heat and extreme cold in this either way. So you have a galley kitchen, nice bench seat. We normally have a lagoon table that sits in here and, and it floats around on wherever you want to have it. And then we also have a queen size bed. So the storage back in the back is really designed to put all the stuff that uh, you just need. Like we, you know, we have the uh, generator back here. We also have the lava, lava box, but we also have the dead man rope to be able to pull you out of uh, different situations. The winch in the front is actually a 24,000 pound winch. So 25,000 pound winch runs on 24 volt, excuse me. So also the tire comes down on a winch. I can have my 100 pound girlfriend, wife, uh, change the wheel uh, while I'm inside having a cocktail. And uh, this comes down to be your, uh, for your tools. And you get uh, some extra fuel and your ladder and your shovel, that's pretty much it. So we're at, uh, on Instagram is the best way to find us, it's Wolf Riggs USA, but you can also go to our website, wolfriggs.com, uh, and check everything out that I just told you about on the rig. Hey, hey, this is Top Hears coming to you from the Overland Expo here at the Pacific Northwest. Um, we're here right outside of Bend. I just kind of want to walk through with you and let you know exactly what uh, we have here at Backwoods. We are known for our hybrid design bumpers, which we have taken from the Sprinters, to the transits and also now into the Toyota platform, which would be more for the Tacomas and then the Forerunners. But at this show, we're debuting our newest bumper, which is called the Scout. This is our Scout right here. It's a minimal bumper that you are able to install without having to take the factory bumper off. It allows you to be able to put a 12,000 winch inside of it. You keep all your sensors, your ABA uh, assisted brake assist and everything. And then you also, are able to have a two inch receiver to go on the front. So if you have additional bicycles or anything like that that you want to add, you're able to put it on the front of the van. Now we're looking at the Tacoma. We also offer this for the Forerunner. You can get this with or without bull bar and we also now have a new pre-runner style as well. What's awesome about this bumper is the weight reduction that you have with it. So the actual bumper itself all in weighs about 85 pounds. Um, and that is the aluminum portion of this is going to be about 35 pounds, 37 if you have the bull bar. And then you're going to have your steel shackle mount area, which is also what houses your winch cradle. So when you're doing any winching and everything that's going on, everything is pulling directly from the steel to the frame when you're doing any type of recovery. Um, also with these vehicles, we offer a new rack that goes on top. It's not on this specific rig here, but we do have one that's called a drifter. Um, and that allows you to have if you do it on vans, you'll have a ladder. Um, it's a very easy install, ladder, roof rack, and then we also offer a roof rack for the Forerunner and the Tacoma as well. If you want to go to Instagram, it's at backwoodsadventuremods.com or www.backwoodadventuremods.com. That would be plural backwoods, plural mods. 
Come see us. So I'm Brian with uh, Aero Teardrops. We're based in Wilsonville, Oregon, and we're here at the uh, 2023 Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. We have with us uh, two of our popular teardrops. We're going to do a walk around of the of our most popular. It's the Steel HC. And so all of our trailers have uh, Timbrin axle suspension on them. They're uh, 3,500 pound rated. And we have an uh, interior table option in our teardrop, which is really nice for uh, you know some of the weather here in the Pacific Northwest. If you're camping and you get in some rain or some heavy wind, you can kind of sneak in here and and hide away. And then uh, this also drops into the floor and becomes a nice sleeping area at six foot eight from head to toe so taller people are, will be nice and comfortable in it this is our high clearance model it's good for getting out and about you know off the beaten path uh, you can equip them with roof racks we've got all kinds of options you can put on the roof rooftop tents cargo baskets awnings awning rooms all those overlanding goodies this trailer has our classic cabinetry in it so hardwood shaker doors, uh, which is a package that we offer. And we also have a CNC cabinet package, which is our traditional cabinet. And we can talk a little bit more about that um, when we do the galley back here. This is our galley space here. This one has our slide out stove option and our slide out cooler option. Fits a Dometic 35 liter refrigerator has the power port in it already, so you're ready to go. Some nice storage for dry goods up above. You can put all your dry food in here, all of your dishes, lots of storage. The shelf is adjustable, so you can configure it for a lot of different uh, galley arrangements. And there's some nice storage underneath the stove too. And then we have some nice deep 18 inch drawers on ball bearing slides. They have soft closing slides. So your storage in the galley is uh, really nice. We also, offer heating for the inside of our trailers. We do a Propex propane furnace, and uh, we currently have uh, Fresair as our cooling option. It's an evaporative cooler, but we're looking at um, some AC options right now. So uh, by the end of summer, we should be ready to roll with some true AC systems for our teardrops. So on the front of the trailer here, we have our tongue box option. This is a great option for adding some additional outside storage. It's full of booth stuff right now, but uh, great place to put firewood or lock a generator away or anything uh, you want to keep secure and dry on the outside of the trailer. So if you're interested in uh, one of our trailers, um, you can find us on our website at aeroteardrops.com. Drop us an email at sales at aeroteardrops.com or you can call our shop directly. It's 503-597. 8714 and we'd love to hear from you. Hey guys, how's it going? Christy with Rhino Rack. We are at Overland Expo PNW 2023. We have brought our brand new Jeep overlanding kit with us. This is going to be an amazing no drill option for Jeep JK, JL, and Jeep Gladiator. So it clamps directly to your gutters. There's no drill needed. It comes with the Pioneer Platform Light, so it's super lightweight, easy to install on yourself. It's going to be about a 45 minute installation and it offers you the ability to bring all of your products with you, any accessories, kayak carriers, bikes, etc. We also have brought our brand new Pioneer eye bolts with Zwift Lock. Best thing about these guys is it eliminates the need to take off all of your other accessories to drop an eye bolt in. You simply twist it, rotate it, and it pops right out like so, and then you can drop it in the channel directly, twist it back, and you're ready to go. Strap anything in and you're good. Hi, I'm Lonnie Harper with Hero Camper. We're a teardrop manufacturer from Denmark. So I'll give you a quick view of our teardrop trailer. This is the Hero Camper Ranger. It's made out of panels that are a sandwich of fiberglass and high density foam, with, which makes it incredibly strong and incredibly well insulated. Like most teardrops, we have our kitchen in the back. One of the things that makes our camper unique is that we have integrated LED lights right in the profile. Also with the construction, there's nothing on here to rot or rust. Uh, the fiberglass material, you'll have no water intrusion. All the metal bolted onto it is powder coated aluminum. And our chassis is a hot dip galvanized. Our chassis is made by Alco, a Swedish company. It has independent torsion suspension, 17 inch rims with 31 inch tires. Great for getting off the beaten path. Included with it is a privacy curtain that you can put up. So whether you need to stand up and change or do something else, you can do that out in nature with privacy www.herocamper.com. Thanks for checking out the Hero Camper.